this is still the easiest sampler to use. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Be sure to check out my upcoming free live stream concert, Freebeat Live, the next level. It's going to be a ton of fun. If you want to have your music featured in the show, be sure to click the link in the description. You have about a week left uh, from the uploading of this video to submit your tracks. So be sure to get that done if you want to be included. Enough of that, though. Today's patron shout-out goes to Danny Vink. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. So this is the PO-133 Street Fighter, and in my opinion, it's still, well, alongside the PO-33KO, because they're basically the same exact device, it's still the easiest to use sampler. Of course, I own arguably three of the most powerful standalone Groovebox hardware samplers, in the OP1, the MPC1, and the Synthstrom Deluge, uh, but the Street Fighter, or the KO, depending on which unit I have batteries in at the time, uh, are the ones I go to more often than not, and it's just because of how easy they are to use. I just absolutely love how simple, how accessible, and how affordable the pocket operator samplers are, of course, those being the Street Fighter and the KO. You can still get these for less than 100 US dollars, which is just amazing. So today, I just simply want to uh, use the built-in onboard microphone here. By the way, this cable is just going to my audio interface for recording purposes. Uh, I just want to use the onboard mic to come up with uh, like a vocal drum kit and just uh, jam it out a bit. So uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to sample into a melodic slot really quick here. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. As you can see, I turned up the volume of that individual sample. Now, the reason I sampled into a melodic slot is so I can actually copy and paste it into a drum bank, which will automatically slice it uh, along these 16 pads or around these into these 16 pads here. <laughs> Nice, so now we need a click, so I'm going to sample myself snapping into a melodic slot. Going to go ahead and sequence that. Actually, we're going to trim it up a little bit because got a little, little nasty there on the tail. There we go. Now we have a metronome. Let's bring the tempo down. Um, 106, sure, why not? Now I'm going to go back to our little vocal kit here. Yeah, play around with some of these pads and... Hey, Freebeat, what were you doing in the bathroom earlier? <laughs> I'm a toddler. I'm just going to randomly play some of these in and see how it sounds. So I'm going to uh, play our click. I'm going to hold down right and then live play. Okay, so that sounds like utter garbage right now, but let's see what we can do to fix it. So uh, I'm going to go in and take out the snapping. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. I think it would benefit from the tempo increasing. Okay, uh, I'm now going to give ourselves kind of a, a kick drum sound. I'm just going to go like, boom. All right, just going to sample into a melodic slot. Boom. That's fine. All right, so it still sounds awful, right? I'm going to go in and undo some of these. And uh, redo a few more of them uh, kind of in a structure here on the end of the beat. Boom. Give ourselves a little swing. <laughs> Play with some punching effects. 
Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you all. I hate this. This sounds awful. Uh, but I'm gonna include this in the video because I want to show you that even gear that we really, really love, and if you've been watching this channel for any extended period of time, you'll know I love the PO33, PO133. Uh, I struggled to say PO there because I was gonna say pocket operators, which is also true. But sometimes it just doesn't go your way when you are filming a video. And God, I wish more YouTubers, more synth YouTubers would show this aspect of what goes on to actually creating content because it's not always the perfect polished content that you wind up seeing. And even though this sounds like absolute garbage, it's still fun to make it and it's still fun to play with. And fun, I've said, uh, you know, in the past couple weeks here on the channel has been a big emphasis uh, for me in my actual off-camera electronic music work. So I just deleted everything I just recorded and we're gonna record some new uh, vocals here. Okay, uh, cool. Let's copy that into a drum slot and get it sliced up. Hey, there we go. Yeah. That's super cool. Okay, let's take that and put it on all of our offbeats. Oh, I'm loving these. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that sounds sick down there. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice right there. Okay, now I do want some kind of kick drum sound on beat one. I'm gonna actually uh, try again and go super, super tight. There we go. Let's uh, trim that down. There we go. Okay, so we can hear that open hi-hat on the uh of beat four. Remember, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. <laughs> this whole drum kit here <laughs> is all one uh, sound slot, which means it's just a monophonic instance. So I want to cut that little hi-hat, that open hat sound, off when we get back to the downbeat. So I'm going to take any of these sounds here. Oh, it's kind of gross sounding. Ugh. And uh, I'm going to put it on beat one here. Then I'm going to go into the tone section and actually parameter lock that volume completely all the way down. Now, there's a sound on uh, beat one on this kit, but I have the volume all the way off, so it's only there to mute this hi-hat. <laughs> All right, I'm a little frustrated with how the video is going, not gonna lie. So, we are gonna bring in the tonic and get an actual freaking drum sound in here. There we go. One cool thing about the PO33 and 133 is that you can take a sound, you can actually copy it into a drum kit into a specific slot. With your only limitation being the 40 seconds of sampling uh, time, basically. That actually sounds pretty cool layered with my uh, vocal kick. All right. Get this hi-hat here, copy that uh, down here into slot two. Just gonna fill in all these spots here. Yeah, awesome. Now let's uh, record a snare drum. 
this is just the stock PO32 kit, by the way. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Cool. Let's copy this uh, entire pattern here into a new slot. And uh, let's go back to our vocal drum kit here. And I want to double trigger a lot of these, or re-trigger them, I should say. So to do that, I'm just going to hold down on a step and tap BPM. It's going to say TR2. Yeah, let's uh, do that on all of these little sounds here. <laughs> That'll be cool. Oh, that's super trippy. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Ah, ah, Yeah, there you go. That's kind of what I mean. Even when you're having an awful session, uh, you know, you can still salvage something that sounds really cool or at least allows you to have fun, which is what is most important about making any kind of music, in my opinion. The fun part, having fun with it. Also, my opening statement about this being the easiest to use sampler uh, still holds true, I believe. In fact, I've only been filming for 14 minutes and 30 seconds total. Uh, of course, it'll be less than that by the time you're watching it, because I will edit out some of my, you know, stutters and uh, mishaps and things like that. But that's still not bad. 14 and a half minutes to come up with something like this. <laughs> And I think just reinforces my opinion that the PO133 Street Fighter and the PO33KO are the easiest samplers to use available right now anyway. I will say there is a new piece of gear on the horizon that I am very, very excited about. I will be getting my hands on one, and I've got some big, big plans for it, so I hope you are all excited for that. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay, too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you all so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.